Hi everyone, my name is Emily here at the Science Gallery at the Manitoba Museum and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite experiments to do here in the gallery. Now, we love our rockets here in the Science Gallery and actually we can make smaller and simpler versions of the much larger rocket that you guys can see behind me using relatively simple household items. So as you guys can see, I've got the body of my rocket here. This is just a two liter bottle of pop. There's a rubber stopper in the end, and inside, it might look like there's nothing in there, but there actually is something very important, our fuel source, liquid ethyl alcohol. And so what we do is we pour a little bit in there using a couple of pipettes. We will agitate the solution to try to get as much of that liquid to turn into a gas as possible, because it is the gas that we actually want to ignite and not the liquid itself. Uh, we also have a rubber stop in the top here to prevent any gas that is produced from escaping because we want to have as much as possible contained within the system. All right. So I'll uncork my bottle. You can hear a little bit of gas escaping initially. However, most of it will be retained inside of the bottle. Now the last thing we need is an ignition source. Without an ignition source, we have no blast off. So I'll use my handy barbecue lighter to ignite a small flame. And in three, two, one, blast off. So as you guys could probably see, there was quite a bit of blue flame that was being produced. That was that gas that was burning off and sending our rocket exploding across the room. As the gas burns off, the flame dissipates and the bottle is warm, but perfectly safe to touch afterwards. So in effect, that was just a miniature version of the much larger Black Brant rocket that you can see behind me. Most rockets these days don't actually use ethyl alcohol as a fuel source. Older rockets, like the Mercury Redstone rocket produced by NASA in the 1960s, actually used up to 75% ethyl alcohol as their fuel source. However, modern rockets use either liquid hydrogen or special forms of petroleum. Thank you guys for joining me, and see you next time.